Hi, it's me, Alma, again. I'm just going to read you a story out of this book called Fables. Some of them are really great. Some of them are kind of, I can do without. So, I'm just going to read some that I like to you, but today I'm just going to read one called The Baboon's Umbrella. I'm going to show you the picture, first of all. And see that? It's a baboon, which is a silly kind of monkey. But he's got a shirt on, or jacket, and pants, and he's carrying an umbrella with holes in it. So we're going to see why. The baboon was taking his daily walk in the jungle. He met his friend, the gibbon, on the path. Now, a gibbon is another type of ape. My good friend, said the gibbon, how strange to find you holding an umbrella over your head on such a sunshiny day as this. Yes, said the baboon. I am most annoyed. I cannot close this un disagreeable umbrella. It is stuck. I would not think of walking about my, without my umbrella in case it should rain, but as you can see, I'm not able to enjoy the sunshine underneath this dark shadow. It is a sad predicament. Now, a predicament is like a situation, like when you have to think about something and decide what to do. There's a simple solution, said the gibbon. You need only to cut some holes in your umbrella. Then the sun will shine on you. What a good idea, cried the baboon. I do thank you. Do you think that's a good idea to cut holes in his umbrella? Hmm, let's see. The baboon ran home. With his scissors, he cut large holes in the top of his umbrella. When the baboon returned to his walk, the warm sunshine came down through the holes. So it almost seemed like, wow, this is a good idea. How delightful, said the baboon. However, the sun disappeared behind some clouds. There were a few drops of rain, then it began to pour. The rain fell through all the holes on the umbrella, and in just a short time, the unhappy baboon was soaked to the skin. Soaking wet. But there's usually a statement at the end of the fables. What it is, is it's like a message. And this fable at the end of it says, advice from friends is like the weather. Some of it is good, some of it is bad. So, when you have a decision to make, or you're thinking about how to behave or what to do or something that is important or even not so important, but it's just part of something that you have to do. Think about your decision and think what's supposed to happen after you've made this decision. Sometimes friends gives us advice and they tell us things to do that they're not thinking about what's going to happen later. Like the gibbon maybe didn't even think of well, what's going to happen if it rains. He was only thinking about to get the sunshine through for the baboon. Some of your friends might tell you to do something, but it'll be okay for a short time, but not for in the long run. So think about what you're doing. Think about your decisions and think about who you listen to. Make sure it's somebody who has already maybe made some good ideas or good decisions that you can follow their example or you can trust them. And trust is a big thing. Like you can trust your daddy. You can trust your mommy. You can trust your Oma. I love you. Your Opa. Your Grandma, Grandpa. There's people you can trust, but then sometimes friends, they're not thinking about your best decision. They're thinking about maybe even making things bad for you, or they're just not even thinking, and they're just giving you ideas. So, bottom line, be a good baboon. Think. I love you. Make good choices, and have a wonderful day, and know that Oma loves you very, very much.